Hi, John here. Today I'm going to do a video about a wind turbine. So if we zoom in a little bit here, we can see the wind turbine is spinning around. What's going on here is that the wind turbine is pointing into the wind. So if we spin it around here, the wind is coming from this direction and it is flowing across what we call the rotor. This is the front bit here. Across the blades, which are these three sticky out pointy bits coming out of the rotor and towards the pylons in the background there. As it flows over the rotor and the blades, it's also going to flow over something called the nacelle. That's this casing here. And as the wind flows across the whole wind turbine, we're going to extract the kinetic energy. In other words, we're going to extract the energy from the movement of the air. And when we do this, we're actually going to impart so the air will fly across here and it will impart a little bit of energy onto these blades. The energy that it imparts is called lift and it's going to apply a torque to the rotor housing. As it does this, it's going to cause the blades to rotate. That's what the lift is doing. It's causing the blades to rotate and that then is going to create electricity. Let's have a look just how we do that. So. We know that the blades are rotating and the shaft here comes through. In fact, if I just play it a little bit, you can see there it's rotating. We'll back it up slightly. That's rotating. It comes through a main bearing here, which supports the entire weight of the rotor and the hub and the blades, etc. here. So that main bearing will support the weight there. It will come through the nacelle housing and it will come to something called a hydraulic brake. Now the hydraulic brakes there to prevent the rotor turning. We can either do this generally just to stop the rotor turning or we can do it in an emergency. So it's a very important piece of equipment. The energy will then be transferred through a low speed shaft, that's this piece here, to a gearbox where we can adjust the speed sometimes up to 90 or 100 times more than the initial speed on the low speed shaft. So we'll increase the speed and out of this side here, which we'll call the main shaft, we're going to have a speed of around 1500 or maybe 1800. At that point, we have a generator. That's this big green item here. And the generator is going to be used to generate electricity. We have a control box in the back. That's this brown item. And the control box is used along with the sensors on the top. We can see they're connected by a cable here to turn the entire nacelle, the whole wind turbine, into the wind. So these sensors, one, two, three, they're going to be used to measure the speed of the wind and its direction in order that the turbine can turn into the wind. So once the electricity has been generated, we need to get that to our homes. So what will happen is we'll have a cable that runs down here. It'll go all the way down to the base of the tower, which is quite far away, and it'll go all the way down and it will go to a dry transformer or a transformer. I'll see if I can line it up correctly. You can see a transformer in here and the transformer will then connect to a open air switch yard, which is this entire piece here. We can see we actually got another transformer here. It would be slightly different perhaps, but we'll increase the voltage again. That's what transformers do. And we will then connect to the national grid and you'll see a lot of these pylons. What you'll normally have is about 10 of these wind turbines or multiple turbines all connecting into the same open air switch yard, which is that piece down there again. And then they will all connect to the grid and then the electricity will be distributed to your home. Anyway, I hope you found that informative and interesting. Thanks very much for your time.